Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be my top 10 fastest speedsters on the Flash. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so just before we get into this video, I'm going to be booking to go to San Diego Comic Con in the next few days. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has contributed. We've raised about £350. It's really, really amazing that you guys have done that. And for any of you guys who wish to contribute, I have a GoFundMe page open right now. Also, my Patreon's open, so you can choose either or. And what I'm going to be doing is everyone who contributed to helping me to get to San Diego Comic Con is going to be entered into a giveaway to win some San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop figures and some exclusive stuff including the Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow bags they always do at Comic Con every year that you can only get there and I will send it to you for free. They get super expensive online. So that's as a thank you for helping contribute to getting me there. So a massive thank you to all of you guys who have helped me and who will go on to help me. And if you can't, don't worry. Just keep on watching the videos. Leave a like every video. That means just as much. So thank you guys and let's get into this video. Okay, so recently I've done a few videos doing rankings. So you can check them out. I'll leave them in the link in the description below. But today we're going to be going on to a highly requested video that we've have requested for many years since I started this channel because everyone is always wondering who is the fastest speedster on the flash because you know it does kind of flip flop so I've made a list of 10 obviously not all the speedsters so not including trajectory or the rival because they just didn't make the list they're just not that fast compared to the others but I've listed them in terms of order of speed not in terms of power because, say, Reverse Flash would probably be at the top due to his power and knowledge and his way of manipulating things because he is definitely the most powerful speedster out there, but, you know, he's not the fastest, say. That is just an example. So we're going to be going through this as in terms of speedsters, and obviously, you know, some of these can flip-flop, but as of right now, I've made a definitive list of 10. So let's get into this. Number 10 is Wally West, aka Kid Flash. So when Wally got his powers in the Flashpoint timeline due to Savitar's manipulation, as it was later revealed, he was not able to actually hold up against the rival, he was actually killed by that version of the rival. Mainly due to him being cocky, but also he wasn't as fast as the rival, he couldn't actually catch up to him at a lot of points and he needed Barry's help. So, gaining his powers once again in the post-Flashpoint timeline via Savitar, Wally showed signs of development that was actually faster than Barry when he originally got his powers in Season 1, so, you know, when he was trained by Thorn and he was developing his speedster powers and got to see him go faster and faster and faster. And so with this, Wally showed signs of potentially getting even faster than Barry in the end. But beyond that early sign, he got fast, but never gained so much speed as to nearly be as fast as Barry. And this is mainly due to his little time on screen, I do believe. And so little was furthered in terms of his speed with his early signs of progress being ridiculously good compared to Barry's, but he never sort of sped up or got really any faster. He didn't really have any training, that was the problem. He had a little bit of training here and there from Barry, and then he went to Legends, no one there is a speedster, so they couldn't train him, and now we don't even know where he is, so it seems like he's pretty stagnant at the moment in terms of his speed. Okay, so let's move on. So this is number nine. Number nine is Godspeed. So Godspeed was only in one episode and was portrayed as a similar speed to Nora, yet not as skilled as Nora because Nora was trained by Eobard Thorn. This version of Godspeed is nowhere near as fast or as powerful as the comic book counterpart because in the comics he was able to be in two places at once. This Godspeed could barely actually fight Nora so with his defeat it seemed to portray that he was marginally slower than Nora and he got his power from a version of Velocity 9, therefore he is not a natural speedster and got his powers the same way as Trajectory. It seems that in terms of the Flash TV show, the natural speedsters are inherently able to get faster and faster, whilst Velocity 9, or whatever version of Velocity it is, has its absolute limits and that was seen with the death of Trajectory. 
because they can't progress past a certain speed whereas natural born speedsters you know speedsters who actually got their powers naturally are able to progress much beyond those who artificially given them okay so number eight number eight we have jesse quick so she got her powers in season two this was after barry gave himself his powers again once he lost his powers giving them back to zoom so she was hit by dark matter she was given her speed eventually and she is faster than Wally as evidenced by her beating him in a race and she is now the speedster of another earth but whilst here she was able to hold up against Avatar for a while for the most part yet she couldn't keep up with Barry so from this I placed her around 8 because I do believe she's faster than Godspeed because she got her powers naturally and Godspeed really wasn't around for that long so I do believe that Jessie's actually faster. Jessie got some training as well and she's been trained by Barry and Jay Garrick so she's had some pretty good training so I put her at number 8 and number 7 we have XS aka Nora West Allen. So Nora was able to beat Godspeed yet had only been using her powers in the last year or two that must be noted. So meaning her full potential was never met because she got erased and she'd only been using her speedster powers for about a year or so. So she was taught by Thorn like Barry and therefore her speed and her power levels and the way she used her speed was very smart and obviously very powerful and had the potential to scale up to the very highest ranks in terms of speedsters as being the daughter of Barry, one of the fastest speedsters out there and also being trained by Thorn, just like Barry was trained, you could therefore suggest she could be as fast as Barry, or if not faster eventually, but she was cut off due to her actually getting erased. So that is why she is at number seven. So she was not as fast as Barry, but a similar speed to Godspeed and Jesse Quick from what we saw. Okay, so number six, Jay Garrick, AKA Earth 3 Flash, the man in the iron mask. So, originally captured by Hunter Zolomon back in Season 2, Jay was the man in the Iron Mask. He was revealed to be the doppelganger of Henry Allen, who later went on to mentor Barry from time to time, as we saw him pop up every now and again. He certainly isn't as fast as Barry, as facing Savitar he was beaten to an absolute pulp, but he is definitely faster than Jesse as he mentored her, and also he's definitely faster than Wally, placing him in about the mid-range of the speedsters on the show. He is slower than Zoom because he got captured. Zoom was able to capture him. He is able to catch up to Barry when trying to time travel, so he can do that at points. He shows signs of very fast pace, yet it seems like he can't keep up that pace like, say, Barry for a very long time. He can do it in bursts, basically. Okay, so number five, we have Zoom. So going into the top five, we're pretty much like very similar in terms of speed and this is just all kind of what you see, but I will present my arguments as to why I think maybe some of the higher ones are higher than maybe the ones you presume would be number one, say. So Zoom is a serial killer who was given speed force powers by the Star Labs particle accelerator explosion on Earth 2 by Harry and he used his speed to become Zoom as he artificially increased his speed until he was able to break the dimensional barrier. That was a big thing in season two. So he stole Barry's speed at a point and even paralyzed him when showing up for the first time, breaking Barry's back, dragging him across the city. At a point I truly wondered, was he human? And a lot of you were suggesting that. I remember back at the time, although I didn't make videos back then, I remember watching like Paige's videos and watching Emergency Awesome's videos and everyone was like, is this guy human? And I was like that myself. I was like, holy shit, this guy could be the fastest speedster. So he only mainly falls lower on this list due to the fact that he didn't get his powers naturally and he used Velocity 9 to enhance his powers. And due to the fact that he didn't get his powers naturally, you would assume there is definitely a limit. And I think that is why he is number five, he isn't as fast as my number four pick, which is Reverse Flash. So Reverse Flash, he can flip flop. Honestly, at some days, maybe he's number one, sometimes he's number two, number three. But today I'm putting him at number four. He couldn't outrun the Black Flash. That is a major factor in why potentially he's in number four. And 
he has been defeated by Barry many times, so there is obviously a case to be made for him actually being as fast because he's able to beat Barry at points. So, Reverse Flash is obviously not as powerful as, say, Savitar or Black Flash in terms of sheer power, but in terms of speed, Reverse Flash and Barry are pretty much very similar to Savitar and Black Flash. He can keep up, but the speed is not off the charts all the time in terms of Reverse Flash. But obviously, if we're ranking most powerful Flash speed of villains, he would probably be number one due to his mind and how he can manipulate things and actually, you know, stay alive unlike, say, Savitar, Black Flash or even Zoom. They've all been erased or died at a certain point and Reverse Flash is able to outrun that for the most part. So, moving on, number three, Savitar. This might be the one where a lot of you guys are like, but he's the god of speed. Well, let me explain this. So, he was able to go between the speed force and the real world early in the season at any time he chose. He was able to beat everyone, including Barry. He was known as the god of speed. However, when not stuck in the speed force, when he got out, his speed significantly dropped and was basically matched to Barry's. So if he stayed in the speed force the whole time, he would definitely be number one. Like at certain points, Savitar was definitely faster than all the speedsters we've seen on the show. He was incredibly fast. Barry got beaten the shit out of. However, when he got out, not so much. He seemed to be very much in line with Barry. Okay, so number two, we have Black Flash. So not even Thorn or Barry could outrun the Black Flash. Thorn spent a whole season on Legends trying to escape him. He is a part of the Speed Force. He works for the Speed Force. Therefore, he's incredibly fast. He had to catch speedsters, meaning he had to be able to catch them up. And he would be higher on the list, but he is known as the fastest speedster. So we'll keep it that way in terms of Barry being number one. So number one, we have the Flash, the fastest man alive as he's been dubbed. Eobard Thorne said that the speed of Barry is potentially unlimited, and so with that, he's number one. He reached Mark 13.2 from Tachyons as we saw him run over to Supergirl's Earth by accident. Coming out of the Speed Force in the comics, he was the lightning bolt that gave himself powers, and he spent six months in the Speed Force, and he came out incredibly powerful, so he showed signs of being the definite, definitive fastest man alive. And at points, he's definitely been that fast. And due to Thorne saying that he has the potential to be absolutely as fast as anything, as showed by him using the tachyons, he's definitely number one. Although not always number one, like I said, it kind of flip flopped between all the different seasons with Savitar, Reverse Flash, Zoom, Black Flash, but he is the fastest man alive when you boil it down to the basics. So, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video and this did help you out, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe, turn on notifications as we head towards 100,000 subscribers. I cannot wait for that. I've got some awesome videos planned for you guys. Also, if you can contribute to my GoFundMe page trying to get to San Diego Comic Con from all the way in London, that would mean so much to me. So the link is in the description below for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.